this video I will be talking about the potential of another Battlefield Hardline in the Battlefield franchise. Now I don't necessarily mean a Battlefield Hardline 2, what I mean by Battlefield Hardline is a infantry focused game um, that doesn't really have the military setting that most Battlefield games do. Now, Battlefield Hardline was not the most successful Battlefield game. Since it was one of the first to have an open beta, it sort of launched with decent success and people thought it was going to be a decently successful game. With about 6 million players playing in the open beta, um, but after sort of getting into the game at the beginning, and just sort of the overall impression of the game sort of brought upon by various YouTubers and people who didn't like the game, um, the game sort of got a bad rap and it did not sell very well at launch. As a result, the game's sort of been abandoned. Visceral Studios, who made the game, has pretty much been fired by EA, or, or they've been sort of relocated some of the employees within the series, but Visceral Studios has basically been abandoned, so the likelihood of a Battlefield Hardline 2 is very unlikely. However, in the past, we have seen many standalone games from Battlefield, including Battlefield Online, um, Battlefield Heroes, and other games like that, um, that were sort of spin-offs of the series. Battlefield Bad Company was even a spin-off to start off, and because of its success, um, it ended up getting its own franchise with Battlefield Bad Company 1, Bad Company 2, and maybe one day Battlefield Bad Company 3. Um, but could there be another game that is like this? I think that one day we may see a game um, that's sort of cops and robbers focused, or at least focused in sort of a city environment, and doesn't necessarily have the massive military um, might that most Battlefield games do. However, if they were to do this, I think that they'd have to approach it somewhat differently than they did with Hardline. And one of the main issues with Hardline is it's sort of focused um, more towards the Call of Duty fan, and many Call of Duty people say that Hardline is their favorite uh, shooter because it's a lot more fast-paced, a lot more focused on infantry gameplay and not vehicles, and pretty much purely focused on gunplay rather than vehicles and other stuff. It's all less frustrating for people um, who ne haven't necessarily played in a battlefield environment. Uh, because all you have to do is point and shoot, don't have to worry about whipping out your RPG to take out tanks and that kind of stuff, like you do in Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, and Battlefield 1. Now what they should do is, I think they should market it as something like maybe call it by its own franchise name. Um, like for example for Hardline, they could have called it Hardline, um, a game by the creator of Battlefield, or a game by DICE. So you'd market it to the people who are Battlefield fans as a game created by Battlefield developers so they'd buy it. So like sort of advertise within Battlefield 4, sort of talk about the new game, uh, post it on the Battlefield channel maybe. Um, but to the people who are from Call of Duty and other shooters, you want to market it as its own game. Because a lot of my, a lot of people I know, for example, my friends don't like Battlefield because of how slow paced it is, how much running you have to do. I personally don't think it's like that, but that's their impression of it. So if you tell them the new Battlefield game's coming out, they're like, okay, whatever. But if you tell them that there's a new shooter coming out that could rival Call of Duty, um, it's going to grab their attention a lot more. So I feel like with sort of their spin-off series, um, DICE should not necessarily, or I guess Visceral did this one, but um, DICE maybe shouldn't, if they do it in the future, label it as a Battlefield game. If it's going to be different enough from Battlefield, you don't really want it to be a Battlefield game. It can be created in the same engine. Uh, there's no reason that that can't be a possibility, but I don't think they should label it as a Battlefield game if they're ever going to create another infantry shooter like Battlefield Hardline. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Hardline is so requested on my channel, so I really like posting and I know they get the most support out of all my videos, so don't forget to drop a like for that. A comment down below what you guys think. I should be bringing some more Hardline content to you guys, maybe some Fortnite or the new update, but right now, what I'm really just waiting for Black Ops 4 and Battlefield 2018. Those are the two things that I want to know. Um, but again, that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.